hope you're all well. So today we are going to work with window cling. I absolutely love window cling. It is so, so versatile. There is so much you can do with it. So I'm going to show you a few different ways in which you can work with it today. So the thing to remember with window cling is that it's very different to vinyl. Vinyl will always have an adhesive side. With window cling, there is no adhesive. It is the same on both sides. It's the same color, it's the same consistency. There is no adhesive side. So if we pull it back, you'll see it's exactly the same on both sides, which means it can be used on both sides and I'm going to show you as I say a few different ways in which you can use window cling today. So we're in design space I've got this design here I've changed it slightly I got this from design bundles in a full bundle and I will link to it in the description below it's a great great bundle but you can see that I've got my truck here now with window cling as I say you can use either side and it's very different depending on what you're putting it on, on how you're going to use it. So I'm going to show you two ways on which you can place window cling onto the front of something. So we are going to put it on the front of a mirror. If you were going to put it on the outside of a window. So we're going to look at two ways in which you can do that. So we're going to put this image onto a mirror. Now if you're working with a complicated image and you're going to put it on the front of something, ideally you want to mirror it because you're going to use the backing sheet to help you transfer it. Because window cling has no adhesive, you cannot use transfer tape. So you have to manually place it. So once you've got everything, the colours that you want, we're then going to go to make it. And we're going to come in and we are going to mirror all of our layers. Once all your layers are mirrored, we can then go to continue. We're going to go to browse all materials. We're going to come all the way down to other and then right at the bottom you'll see window cling. We can then go and get our mat sorted and we can start cutting out all our layers. Please remember that this is going on the front of an item and I have mirrored it so that I can use the backing paper to help me transfer it. So I'm going to place it on a green mat and I'm going to place it on exactly the way I would with vinyl. So I'm going to have my backing sheet down onto my mat so that my product is facing up towards me. So we've got our glass mirror here and as I've said we're going to put it on the front of it and we have gone in and we have mirrored our window cling. The reason we've done this is because as I say we can't use transfer tape with window cling. So if we mirror it we can actually use the backing sheet to help us transfer. So I like to just go in with a scraper just to help it stick a little bit and then all we're going to do is just come in and peel back our backing sheet and you just want to use the backing sheet to help you transfer your image and I find that that makes life really simple. So we're going to place one of the wheels down and I'm going to place it down in the wrong area. And I'm going to do this on purpose because I want to show you why I'm going to do this. So we're just going to use our scraper and then we're going to come in and we're just going to peel it back. And you can see that we are completely off in our placement. So we're just going to come in and lift it up and all we're then going to do is manually 
place it where we want it to go. And that is the fantastic thing about window cling, is that you can just pick it up and move it. And you can move it as many times as you like. Even though we have mirrored it, another way to do it is just to peel it straight off its carrier sheet and then manually just place it where you want it to be. So there are lots of options when it comes to the window cling. So we've got our pumpkins here, so we're just going to come in and place those down. And then we're just going to come in and start peeling back our backing sheet. Again, if you're not happy with something, if you want to change it, for example, I want to change this one, I just want to turn it round. I'm just going to come in, I'm going to turn it around, and then I'm going to place it. So you can do whatever you like with it. Obviously, if you're using text and you've mirrored, then you're going to need it to stay the way that it is. But with images, you can change them to however you want them to be. So that is a nice easy way of being able to put our window cling onto the front of an item. So we've got our next image. This is also from Design Bundles. Again, I'll link to it in the description below. I've changed it slightly. I've taken out the text. And I'm going to use my window cling as a base for vinyl. Because as we know, when we put vinyl onto an image and we then take it off, we're left with a sticky residue. And if we take it off, we can't reuse it. Window cling is completely reusable. So if you remove it and you put it in a folder for next year, you can then use it again. So it's a great way to be able to make vinyl reusable. So I've got my image here. I've already sized it up. I'm just going to ungroup it. Now this is going to be vinyl. I'm going to duplicate this part so it's also vinyl. And then this one is going to be window cling. So I just want to change the colour on this one so that it doesn't cut out on the same map because we're going to use different materials. Now this time I am not going to mirror it. Again, it's going on the front of an item. We're putting it on the front of a glass frame as if it was going to go on the outside of your door or your window, for example. So we can then go to make it. I'm not going to mirror it, so we can go to continue. So I've got my window cling in green, I've got green 651, and I've got an orange metallic. So we're not going to work with our window cling at the minute, we're just going to work with our two vinyl layers. So I'm going to keep this bottom layer on its backing sheet, and I'm going to transfer all of my metallic vinyl straight onto it. So I've now got my two vinyl layers on top of each other. I'm then going to tr place my transfer tape back down again and I'm going to transfer them as one image. So I've got my window cling here and I've got my complete vinyl image and I'm just going to bring it onto my window cling and then I'm going to give it a good roller and of course you can use your scraper if you've got a scraper and we're just going to gently start peeling back. Of course we've got it onto our window cling now so we can just keep using our window cling so we can put it on whatever we want to put it on and then we can store it away so you've got a nice removable vinyl decal. So now we've come to the last part of our window cling and we're going to look at how you put it on the inside of an item. So the inside of a glass door or the inside of a window or the inside of a glass frame. And you don't need to do anything, just get your design how you want it to be and we're going to go to make it. We're going to go straight to continue, you're going to browse all materials and go all the way down to other and then you're going to select window cling and that is literally all we're going to do. Wow. 
and I've got a glass frame here. I'm just going to use this to demonstrate how you can use it to go on the inside of a window. So we're going to put it on the inside of our glass frame. As I said, I haven't mirrored, I've just done it exactly the way that I would with normal vinyl and I'm just going to come in and place it face down onto my frame. And if you're not sure about the placement, just turn it over and have a quick look. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm just going to use my roller just to secure it in place. And then I can come in and I can use my backing sheet just to help me adhere my window cling. We've got a little bit of lift up on the D here, so I'm just going to gently lift it up and manually just let it fall where it wants to fall. So I can then place my next piece of window cling down and again I'm just going to go in with my fabric brayer. And if I'm not happy with the placement, I can just gently lift it back up. We can move the eye in a minute and I'm just going to place it back down to where I'm happy with the placement. We're going to use the backing to help us keep it on the glass. So where we've changed it we've got a little bit of an issue there so that's fine we're just going to pick it up and then let it just manually fall where it wants to fall and I just want to change where the eye is sat and then place it back down. You can then go in with your roller and just make sure it's nice and adhered on the inside of your glass. And then that's how you'd put it in your kitchen window, on the front of your door, on the inside. Really nice and easy. There is so much that you can do with window cleaning, which is why I love working with it so much. Mm -hmm.